Welcome back, everybody, to my Survivor series here on Black River called Surviving Black River. So I just stopped by the greenhouse area here on the map to take a look at how much it was worth to purchase. I'm kind of considering at maybe purchasing this area as I progress here in the area of Black River. But we are going to go on up here to the store and make a small purchase to help us go sell a bigger load of olives. And then probably um, look at buying something a little bit bigger than in return to sell silage all at once now i could sell silage with my little miner truck here and my little tipper trailer and also with my forage wagon but i want to be able to sell a little bit more than that so that's why i'm going to do it this way but we're going to head on down here to the store and we'll be back with you after we make the purchase Alright, well welcome back everybody. We have made a purchase of a little trailer that only costs just over $5,000, holds 8,000 liters. So now we can go sell a little bit more olives all at once. Now we could sell our olives. I understand we could sell our olives if I changed my tipper that I do own back to a bale trailer and double stack and all that but I don't want to do it that way I want to do it this way so this is what we're gonna do now as we stop by here I'm gonna show you I want to show you the price of this property right here and a couple others that I'm considering purchasing as we progress so as I progress forward, I'm thinking about buying this greenhouse area here on 66, which is worth 132,000. I'm also considering this field down by our farm here on 89, which is 81,000. And then buying this area down here, possibly. It is 64000 and 56000 And I'm actually possibly going to buy this first. That's maybe, I don't know. But those are kind of the three main areas I'm kind of considering right now. Because our cheapest field near our farm... Uh, other than 89 right here is uh, 79, which is 105,000. So, yeah, and our biogas plant, um, that is uh, expensive. But um, we're going to go sell a load of olives. And on the way down here, I should say on the way up here to the store... I noticed something that I literally have driven over <laughs> millions of times in this about, I suppose we're at about, what are we at, at now, 80 hours maybe? Yeah, almost 81 hours on this game save and not one time did I notice it until I started to record this video today here on 
Sunday, May 7th. <laughs> I cannot believe I missed it all this time until now, but we'll see you there. All right, well, welcome back. Here we are at this old raggedy bridge, everybody. And um, lo and behold, I have drove over something a million times and not once noticed it. Now, the idea is, is can I find it? And there it is, right there on this bridge. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's going to come in handy right now. So we are going to pick that up. We got $50,000 added to us now. But as I have said since I started this, I'm using that collectible money if I come across it in different ways i'm not so much using it to help me to buy equipment but i'm using it to kind of uh, some free money as if i hit the powerball and helping me pay off my debt and also do some things around the farm so we're gonna go over here to the farm and i am gonna do a do one thing that will be useful with that money before we go sell some olives and that is to level off a little bit of ground where I want to put down uh, a new building eventually so let's get up here to the farm alright I had bought this bottle of silage additive a while ago to hopes of using it with a different forage wagon and that forage wagon uh, mod just didn't work so well so yeah we kind of have a little bit of uh, silage additive for the future but now I kind of want to level off that ground right here a little bit so I'm going to try my best to do this with you all Okay, welcome back everybody. Well, we have leveled off that and of course made quite a ridge right here against my shed and then against my entry and exit point to the farm, but hopefully we will then be able to put down our new shed right here on a, a leveler space and then I can adjust the land around it and then I went ahead and used the money to uh, get rid of uh, this uh, ground foliage in the area I make the placement and yeah so we actually only have 36,000 left and so what I'm going to do with that now everybody is do this We're going to repay down to, we're going to repay 30000 of this loan, so. We'll 
leaving us with uh, $6,000, uh, almost 7000 to uh, utilize. <laughs> so we're basically only $1,000 richer than what we were um, before we found that. So we're going to go over here and load up some olives and then uh, go get those uh, sold. Alright, well, we will see you over at the sell point that we sell our olives at. Alright, well, we had a nice little $11,000 there plus a two thousand dollar bonus bringing us up to about about twenty thousand actually nineteen thousand eight hundred and sixty dollars so we're not too far off of that but we're gonna go on back up here to the farm and i think now i will go ahead and uh we will um Go sell a little bit more product and uh, see what else we can get. So we're going to maybe sell our olives off here and see what money we have. And uh, then we'll consider what we're going to buy for uh, selling our silage. So I'm going to put you, I think, in a little bit bit of either a um I might just jump cut it I think but let's go up here to the silo so we can show you how much olives we have in it and that's all we'll sell um and we'll keep the olives that may be over by our trees over there and I don't think there is any over there right now so let's go ahead and load up some more olives and then go sell them all. Alright, so we have 10,500 liters. So maybe we'll just go sell one more full load here. Because it will be just around a little over 9,000 I believe. All right, yeah, so here we go. We will see you over at the sell point, everybody. I won't uh, I won't do this without you. We'll just uh, jump cut on over to the sell point. All right, well, welcome back. So, you can see there that we are now up to $32,787. Had another nice little sale over there selling some olives, but we're going to return to our farm, and I am going to go make another purchase. I think I've kind of decided what I would like to Bye. So we will uh, see you over at the store, I think. Welcome back, everybody. Well, as you can see, we kept our tipper trailer. 
but we changed the tipper trailer customization from lower attacher to upper attacher because that is the only way it would attach to this new truck we just bought a cheap little truck that holds quite a bit of uh, liters for its size but we only have one thousand one hundred and two dollars left and we can't make a very uh, sh tight turn because we'll probably collide into our trailer but hey at least now you can see what you can do with some different mods everybody you just gotta test around so technically speaking I believe we should be able to haul um, 17 plus 8. So we should be able to haul, I think, around 22,000 liters of silage uh, doing it this way. But we'll find out once we get to the farm. We'll see you there. Welcome back, everybody. Well, let's load up some salvage and go sell some. 86,190 liters, and we are probably going to sell all of this. Uh, 14,500 in the truck right there. Okay, my math was a little bit off, I think. Oh, no, 22,500. Okay, so here we go. Let's see where it sells the best at. Selling the best at the animal dealer. $339. Oh, but price could go up in the next day. All right, well... We will go sell this load, and we will uh, be back with you. All right, here we go. Let's sell some silage. First silage sold here on Black River. Alright, so we got a $7,000 sale plus a $800 bonus, so not too bad. We'll see you at the farm. Alright, well, I think it's time to get some rest, so we're going to go into the next day and sell the rest of the silage, see if we can get a little bit better of a price, and uh, we'll see you then. Welcome back, everybody. Well, we're back here at the animal dealer with another 22,500 liters of silage to sell, and we still have 41,000 liters of silage to sell after this. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and start selling this load here, and then I'm going to jump cut one load and bring you back in for the last load of... Uh, 
silage to sell. And then we'll probably be wrapping up the episode here um, shortly after we sell this silage. But there's a couple other things I still like to try and do. So we'll see what we get for this here. And uh, we'll be back with you with the last load of silage. So we got another $7,645 plus $817 bonus, up to $18,000. So we will see you back for the last load of silage. Welcome back, everybody. Well, here we are selling our last load of silage. We had just a little over uh, 18,000 liters to sell. And we're going to make a little bit off of it, but not as much as we did with our last full load. Our full load that we jump cut it out was the same uh, profit return as the first load. So here we go. Look and see what we get. $6,350 plus $678. Well, what I want to do now, everybody, is we're going to go back to the farm. We are going to change up the truck, and I'm going to come back over here to the animal dealer. We're going to buy a load of manure. Welcome back, everybody. Well, let's go ahead and work on our truck here and change it up. Alright, we got the truck all changed up. Now, we are going to go ahead and uh, build a little something, everybody. Welcome back everybody. Well, here we are over by the animal dealer and we're going to buy some manure here for our greenhouse or our greenhouses, our olive trees, and then we're gonna take you back over to the farm and we are possibly going to see what brings us into the next day as well as um, sell a small load of wood because I cut down the tree that was in front of the uh, new shed that I got it just uh, causing too much of a too much of a collision, a view collision, so camera collision, whatever you want to call it. So let's go back over to the farm with uh, this here load of uh, manure and see what we can do. See, there's that truck again. It's back. <laughs> the broke down truck, but. We'll see you over at the farm, everybody. Alright, well, welcome back. Let's go ahead and go dump this over at our olive trees. And whatever we have left, then we will uh, put in our silo for storage. But I don't think we're going to end up with uh, any left. So let's go ahead. We're going to dump one in this tree and the other in the other tree. So we'll dump that trailer in there and then we'll put the truck, the 
contents of the truck at the other tree. Unless that, ooh, that filled it up. All right, so that did fill it up. Good deal. So our other tree isn't going to take much. And then we have some for storage then. That'll work out just great. Let's toss that in this tree. All right, well, we can put the rest of this in the silo then. We just need at some point to get more seeds and fill those tree pots back up with some more seeds to grow more olives. So let's dump this in our silo and then we can um, go sell a small load of wood. And see what the new day is going to bring. We do have some wheat, I believe, and oats that we can sell. But I'm hanging on to them for right now. So we just haven't sold any of that yet. All right, let's put this back in the shed here. You can see we got rid of that tree that was in front of the shed here, but let's put this in the shed. And we will go try and sell a little bit of wood. We can get this backed in here good enough. That'll work. All right, well, we got a small load of wood. And then we'll see what the new day is going to bring us. All right, here is our small load of wood. Just a little over eight, nine hundred bucks. That includes our bonus. So, well, let's go get some rest, everybody. Let's get on over to the farm and get some rest. We got seventeen thousand dollars and doing pretty good. There is a lot of other things I'd like to do, but let's go. Let's go uh, get some rest for the night again and uh, see what February brings us. Welcome back, everybody. Well, we just grabbed ourselves a nice quick little cup of coffee and uh, got back from, you know, um, finishing up with that manure with our olive trees and all that good stuff, but... Now, I did go ahead and buy something um, off camera. It was only a little over $1,100 or so. So not very expensive, but we now have ourselves a potato planter here hooked up to our John Deere. And we're going to put potatoes in this little field that's right here against our silo. And the other thing that we still need to do is we have 70,000 liters of silage again ready to pick up out of our bunker and sell or do whatever we wish. But for now, I'll probably be picking this up and putting it over in my silo. I think there was like 70,900 liters, something like that. So not as big as a harvest as the last one. And then I'll probably be uh, putting some other crops in these other fields, either as a part of the next episode or just off camera and uh, moving forward here. But we do, you know, got this nice new shed down here and gave ourselves, uh, it gave ourselves quite a bit of room of uh, storage. So we got just about everything else in there. 
The only thing I don't care about this shed is how some of these new sheds leave this ridge against the uh, ground when you uh, go to place them. Um, so evidently I didn't have it level enough, but uh, it was flat. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't care for that too much, but not too bad. I do like the shed, though. I do like the shed. It fits It fits the uh, little rustic wooden theme that we have going here on this little farm homestead. So let's get in the tractor here. And we need to put potatoes in this field. And we all know that um, you can take a cedar, a direct drill cedar, or maybe even any other cedar in FS22. And if you have plowed out your field in an area where it's got this ground foliage with these sticks and these weeds, well, all you need to do is get yourself a cedar then and put seed in the ground. Well, you don't always just need to use a cedar. Here we have this wonderful potato planter, and this potato planter here is even getting rid of my ground foliage as we plant the seed in the ground. Um, I guess I've never uh, noticed it or tried it. I thought I'd give it a try here and see how it turned out. And as you can see here, this wonderful thing is uh, deleting out that ground foliage as we put potatoes in this field. But we are going to, um, yeah, get potatoes in this field and uh, see what else we can get done here on this uh, wonderful farm of my my own here that I've created as I've cut down this forest and we only have a little bit of forest left there to cut about 13 trees or so if I remember right when we counted them the last time in a video so not a lot of trees left yeah not a lot of trees left <clears throat> but I do feel that we are doing really well now now we have our debt uh, with this farm paid down quite a bit. I think we have like 115000 or something like that left to pay. I will take a look here and show you. We have over 80 hours now on this game save in these uh, now 10 episodes as I do play this off camera as I try and uh, get you better content for each video and yeah I might not be the best content creator but I do enjoy making these videos for you all to watch as we have cut down this forest with a chainsaw and lifted all the logs the bigger logs that I couldn't lift by hand were all lifted by a pallet fork on a front loader of a tractor. No big bag lifter was used. Don't even have the big bag lifter purchased. So, yeah, a little bit more of a different uh, type of gameplay, if you will. And what I usually like to do, because I do like that big bag lifter, part of the CSC pack. But, yeah, we're moving right along here, I think. As we need to focus on uh, saving money and buying the quarry and the main farm on this game save. And once we... Once we've gotten that far, we can move on or keep going. So we'll just see what my mood is as we progress through this uh, game save here called Surviving Black River here on Black River for Farming Simulator 22 on PlayStation 5. All right, we need some more seed. Let's grab that out of my silo here. I got, uh, I think, over about 2,000 liters of seed in here. Yep, 2,027, so fill that back up. It only holds 200 liters, so pretty small potato planter. But we probably won't keep it around very long. We'll upgrade or 
uh, yeah, do some other crop and sell it. But I did want to do some potatoes in this, so here we are putting potatoes in this field. This is actually actually a pretty good sized field. I must have shut it off there. There we go. A pretty good sized field to put potatoes in. I used to be pretty good at this in FS19, taking a guess at how many liters we could get off this field when we go to harvest it. And I have no clue now, but you know what? I think I'll go with my favorite number. And I'm going to say we get 49,000 liters of potatoes off of here. If you all want to take a guess, leave her there in the comments. I will try and remember my number, or we will do it again once we get closer to this potato harvest. But yeah, I'm going to go with saying 49,000 liters. Now, the other thing... Uh, neat I shouldn't say neat the other thing about this series that I wanted to do here on Black River was challenge myself with created videos and the amount of created videos in a series and so we are almost halfway to my goal <laughs> episode 11 will be half of my goal as I have a goal set to record 22 videos and after 22 videos my decision as to whether to go live with this series so right now we're on episode uh, 10 so once we get to 11 we'll be halfway done with the recordings if I choose to go live with this game save I may even go further than uh, 22 videos. We'll just see. We'll see where we're at at the point in time. With all... Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I bumped the uh, button to change vehicles. So yeah, we'll just see where I am at in that point of time when it comes to uh, deciding whether we will move on or not. Now, the best time to sell uh, wood, if I remember correctly, in the menu was like April. So those other trees here, I'm probably going to be cutting out in the next episode and um, getting that money from them. And that will give us a little bit more room with whatever we may choose to do. And uh, we can maybe potentially put in ourselves another little field or just extend our grass field. I don't know what we're going to do. I think it potentially probably what will happen here is after we do this potato harvest I will join this field with whatever we get extended there in the corner where the trees are at is probably what I'm gonna do we're gonna run out of potatoes here so we're gonna have to run over to the silo and get more maybe we can get to the end of this run we'll see what happens but no nope, I don't think we are going to we need to get some more in the in the planter. Well, definitely gonna have to buy a bigger planter, but this was inexpensive. It only costs a little over uh, one thousand dollars, so we were at seventeen thousand something, but now we're down to sixteen thousand three hundred and fifty-one dollars. I also need to decide, too, as we get money, what we're going to purchase for productions. Either putting some small productions here on this land that we own now, or if there's any productions around the map I should purchase. Um, I probably am going to purchase the carpentry point, because it is full, the carpentry shop and uh, we can start making some money off of that so that probably possibly will be the first production goal 
because I think that money will be a nice addition because we already have all that wood up there. Plus, whatever we would sell the rest over at the sawmill, that could be beneficial too. So the carpentry and the sawmill may be uh, purchases in this uh, series as well. We'll see how it goes as we progress forward. Um, I just, yeah, I'm kind of uncertain as to what we'll do. But we are going to look at the menu here with everybody and show you um, now briefly what we got going. So here in our silo, we do have about 7,000 liters of wheat, 7,000 liters of oats to sell. Um, that is it, really, that is available to sell in the silo. We have $115,000 in debt to the bank to pay yet. And we do have no contracts right now. And our olive trees are doing really well. And we have done 141 trees cut down, 23 missions, and about 85 hours now. Three years played and only collected two collectibles so far. That is it. Only two collectibles have been picked up in this series so far. Everything else has been hard-earned, I guess. We are, of course, though, in normal economy. I didn't want to play in hard economy, so we are doing this in normal economy. With seasons and my first time ever with precision farming. So I have quite enjoyed this uh, gameplay <laughs> as I have more hours on this game save than I do on my Hinterland game save or my Somerset Farms or my Elm Creek, which are all game saves of challenges that I've been working on. So yeah, each one of those has about 20 to 40 hours on them and this one has, uh, yeah, way more, 80, almost 85, but I think we're going to wrap it up here, everybody. Um, yeah, I think this is a good place to wrap it up, probably. Now, there wasn't anything really good in used sales. We'll show you. So here is used sales options. Nothing uh, really of interest. But, yeah, I think that'll do it for this episode everybody I hope you've enjoyed what we've been doing here on Black River and if you have please drop me a tasty one on that like button which is better known by myself as a cop battery and by you all people as a delicious donut and don't forget to leave us a comment in the comment section and please share a box of donuts with all our friends and family by sharing the videos and the live streams from the channel but from myself Rusty Money we will see you all on the flip side, everybody, have a good one. PlayStation.